Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch with another bit of breaking game development news, comma, sort of, asterisk. Okay, this one may or may not be breaking. I have no idea, to be honest. It seems like it actually came out a couple of days ago, but the general world of game development are just becoming aware of it because of a Gama Sutra article. So, by the way, just posted up on Gama Sutra, uh, there is an article discussing that Microsoft Game Development Kit is now available for free on GitHub. And at first glance, this sounds Awesome. It enables you to learn how to develop for Xbox platforms. All of the stuff specific to those platforms, this is the GDK. This is the software that professional developers use to develop on those platforms. And it is now available on GitHub. So you're thinking, oh, wow, you can now work on these platforms? No. You're thinking, well, wait a minute. Does this mean that like uh, the Godot game engine can have Xbox integration? Well, no. Uh, it's, it's, it's a it's a step. It's a step forward. We'll go from there. So this is coming from the GameStack blog from Game to, um, from Microsoft themselves. As you can see, this news is actually a couple of days old. And more interesting, when we get to the actual GitHub repository, it's like 30 days old or, or more. So it, it may not be the newsiest of news I've covered here, but nonetheless, let's jump in and take a look here. So uh, blah, 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 blah. We have made the Microsoft Game Development Kit available on GitHub for free. Uh, the GDK is the same base development uh, toolkit used by hundreds of games. Ooh, where did I go? Um, hundreds of games creators today was previously only available to approved partners using the Xbox ecosystem. GDK contains the common tools, libraries, and documentation needed for developers. Uh, it's the future of the Xbox ecosystem across all platforms, PC, cloud, mobile, and console. So that sounds pretty awesome. Ah, uh, but wait. Ah, oh, crap, I missed the opportunity to do a, but wait, there's more, because, well, there's more, and it's not all great. It's not bad, it's just not great. So, by using the GTK, creators will get a head start in their game development based on technical foundations that will allow them to unlock functionalities to integrate with Xbox ecosystems like commerce, achievements, multiplayer, and more. Access to publish on Xbox ecosystems of stores is still private, uh, following common industry licensing practices, <laughs> 30%. <laughs> Uh, uh, completing the journey to publish a game to the Xbox stores on Windows directly or through the Game Pass program involves applying to qualify for an Xbox Partners program, signing a license agreement, and configuring gaming services. Interesting creators can check out the ID at Xbox program. So it is still locked behind, um, I, I guess it's not a paywall, but a license wall. You need to be in their developer program to actually use this. What it enables you to do is develop, get ready, learn the tooling, but then when you are ready to go, you're going to need to have you know the server side keys and stuff from Microsoft that are from the traditional program. Um, enabling creators of all shapes and sizes to create high quality games is core to our team. This entails delivering tools that developers can use to build games for multiple platforms on multiple engines, including tools to create games, programs to help distribute games, services to monetize commercialized games, and the power to retain, grow, and scale games. Learn more by checking out their recent GameStack Live event, which is where this was actually announced. Our, our mission is to democratize game development to generate a diverse, rich portfolio of content, our gaming loud, uh, blah, 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 blah. Making the GDK publicly available is the first step in this journey. So this is where it's encouraging. There is more coming. Uh, we invite you to try out the GDK, check out the documentation, and get started building games today on GitHub. Uh, do I still need to go through Microsoft to publish a game? Yes, yes you do. What is the GDKX? Uh, is an add-on for add-on SDK to the GDK that exposes Xbox-specific API extensions. While well, many of the extensions are common to both Xbox One and Xbox X Series S um, generations, some are console generation specific. Note that the GDK and GDKX do not support Xbox 360 development. Extensions are largely graphics, media, and storage specific. All Xbox ecosystem integration points like commerce, community, and multiplayer are available in the GDK and do not require the GDKX. Uh, why is the GDK bi a binary release and not open source? So this is again key. Uh, we will continue to take steps towards making our uh, more of Xbox game development more open. This is just an early step in that direction with binary release of the installer to modernize how we distribute the software and enable collaborations uh, around source that is available, Xbox Live, Play, Fab, and game development samples. So what sounds amazing at first is yeah. And what it is basically gives you an opportunity if you want to develop for that ecosystem, but you are not yet in their program, uh, you, you can basically start developing. And again, I don't know how this is all 27 days old at the last commit. So this I'm not sure how news this actually is, uh, but a bit of details there. Um, these ones, you, by the way, you still need to be in their program. It does not sound like you're getting access to the GDKX. That's the uh, sexy bit that does graphics and sound and audio and all that stuff. You're getting the GDK. So, yeah, 
Um, so you do need to have a license and so on. Additional licenses required uh, to obtain the extensions, which is the fun part. Um, and you can read more of the documentation available there. So the GDK versus GDK X, that is where the actual Xbox development stuff is. And you need a license for that. So if you're thinking about making a renderer for it or you want to do an open source extension, you, you can't. Um, th this is more or less, it gives you the opportunity to learn how to do integrations into their various cloud things. Uh, but it does not give you the ability to actually create, you know, you don't have access to the GDK X, which is, again, probably the part that you're most interested in. Uh, but... Uh, full version of release notes of public confidential information is available part of the GDK X release. will be available for the public GDK sometime after June 21. Uh, so yeah, that's release notes. Still nothing that special. So it's really, again, it's one of those announcements that sounds awesome at first glance. And then it kind of goes down from there. By the way, if you're curious, the license this is under is Microsoft proprietary license. We're not talking uh, MIT or ZLib or Apache or anything like that. Uh, you're still pretty locked down. And if you're interested, these are the bits that are part of it. So this is the, the public facing documentation. Uh, some of the documentation is still locked behind a license wall. I'm gonna keep going with that one. So you see here, you've got, you've got tools here for things like audio, commerce, input, networking, packaging systems, and Xbox Live. Um, so you're, again, this isn't like the renderer or the, um, I'm surprised audio is in there, but this isn't the, um, you know, uh, this isn't a magic bolt that makes something like um, the, the Fold engine or the Godot engine suddenly able to target um, Microsoft platforms, which is fortunately is what I thought it was at first. Instead, what it allows you to do is kind of hook into their ecosystem uh, and kind of do all that stuff before you have uh, access to licensing. And then, you know, once once you're approved or whatever, you can get and actually use this. Uh, but it allows you to, to check this stuff out. So on the first glance, it sounds amazing and then you know once you once you look behind the window it's it's a little underwhelming to be honest but again this part is probably the most interesting is that they're going to continue to make things more open uh if you remember history when they launched xna which by the way was amazing xna started as ms build like it was such an underwhelming they, they released the source code to mech commander 2 and ms build um and then you know six months eight months a year later uh, we got like the X and A game studio and all the SDKs and the ability to create indie games on Xbox and so on. And that was an awesome release. And I'm still bitter that Xbox didn't continue on um, with X and A. Uh, but this could be the same thing. This could be the baby first steps. And down the road, we see better openness for uh, Xbox development. But right now, it, it's a headline that sounds awesome. And the devil's in the details. And the details are a little underwhelming. At least that's my take on it. I'm curious what you think. Let me know. Comments down below. Could be I'm reading all of this wrong. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.